In this video, I discuss NEA 2 Section E, that's Analyse and Evaluate. Section E, Analyse and Evaluate, is worth 8 marks. For Section E, students will carry out sensory evaluation and record the results for all their practical dishes. For the final dishes, students will carry out and record nutritional analysis, costing and identify improvements to their dishes. So to get the maximum of eight marks, this is what you should do. So you should carry out accurate nutritional analysis data for the three final dishes and which is fully explained with conclusions and recommendations. There should be accurate and excellent knowledge of nutrition. There should be detailed and appropriate sensory testing with detailed analysis and evaluation. And you can discuss aspects such as taste, texture, aroma and appearance. The final dishes are costed with the results of this costing analysed and explained. And there should be detailed, relevant and creative improvements suggested for the final dishes. The kind of improvements you can discuss include nutrition, skills, sensory characteristics. Nutritional analysis of your dishes can be presented using Explore, which is found on the Food, a Fact of Life website. For the higher mark band, students should show excellent knowledge of nutrition and fully draw and explain conclusions from the nutritional data and also ensure that your discussion relates to your task title. Costing can be carried out using a software package or spreadsheets. You need to show cost of ingredients and discuss how did you manage to keep the costs of a dish low or maybe it could have been made more cheaply. You will need to carry out sensory evaluation and this can include the appearance, taste, texture and aroma of the dish. You can show the results on a graph, chart or table. You will need to discuss the results. And sensory analysis of the actual dishes can be carried out in school or at home. Here is an example from a student's work. Detailed, relevant and creative improvements should be suggested for the final dishes. When they have completed the making of the final dishes, students should identify improvements for the final dishes. This could relate to cost, sensory characteristics, nutrition or food provenance. And I've provided an example from students' work here. The project should be around 20 pages and conclude with a bibliography which will contain details of sources that you used, such as books and website addresses. Here is an example from a student's work.